Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to be going over a little update on the iTradeAll indicator. Uh, the indicators that came with the system has now been combined into one, so all you need is just one file, and that's it. Uh, you do not need a template, uh, but if you like to use the template, that's fine. The template is simply just uh, the EMA uh, on your chart. so. Uh, Let's go ahead and install it and get started. All right, so first thing you need to do once you download the product, uh, you will have these files. Uh, make sure you go through the installation process if you're not familiar with. But a quick way to do it is just to have your uh, MT4. You go to uh, uh, open folders and then you go to uh, this folder. Before you go in anywhere, the template is located here. So you can put your template. Uh, you put a template inside the template folder and then you go into MQ4 and then you put this indicator into the indicator folder and then that's it. So once you've done that, all you got to do is just click on any indicator here and click refresh and then you should see the indicator here. So what you see on the chart is the indicator since I already have it installed. But a quick way to do it, let's say you put NAS100 and uh, if you like to use the uh, template, you just you will see the template here. So select this template and it'll just give you the uh, EMA on the chart like that for you. And then you can find the indicator here and just double click and then you can select what strategy that you're using and then just click OK and then you have your uh, signals. So uh, any anything that you would like to use, you can put it on the chart and it will give you the signals. And then give you the signals for it. So let's see, this one, your USD. So this work repairs indices, anything that you put on the chart, it will give you the signals for it. All right, a little overview about the input. So with the input, you have uh, the options. So you first you can select all, uh, which rule that you want to use. The default is using the signal and the EMA. So where well, once you have the signal, then it checks to make sure that EMA is also uh, correct. Once it's confirmed, then you get your signal to trade. All right, and also some of the features, again, the smart zone, you can use that to uh, eliminate uh, trading in a support and resistance zone and you can turn off the support resistance if you have too much stuff on the, on the chart and you can remove this trend right here and also if you want to show the signals itself you can enable it and it will show you where the signal and then where the confirmation so i just go ahead and turn on the signal click ok close and then as you can see the signal came for uh, for sale, but it wasn't time for sale yet. EMA confirmed it, and now you got a signal. Again, the signal says buy, and then the EMA said, yep, is it confirmed? And then you have it. The same for that sale, and you have a sale, and so forth. So you have the options to either show or uh, hide. If there's too much things on the sh on the chart, you can you can remove it in the trend right here by just turning it to false. And even if you don't want to show the support and resistance, you can also close that, put it to false, click OK, and then all you have is your arrows. So this is an update, and now this is just one file. That, that's all that you need. So the only indicator that you're going to be using is that uh, because I have uh, the template, that's why you see these two moving average right here. But everything that you need is inside just this one file. So this is the version two of the I trade all indicator.